Hi, I'm Brett St. Clair, and I'm here for an update on the Sewell's Falls Bridge Replacement Project with Concord City, City Engineer Ed Roberge. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Brett. Um, there's a, been a lot going on here uh, with the Sewell's Falls Bridge. I know a lot of folks in Concord have heard about the bridge. Can you tell us, for those who aren't familiar with it, where it's located? Well, Sewell's Falls Bridge crosses the Merrimack River in, in northeast Concord. It's generally, um, it, it would connect the road section between Mountain Road and, say, North State Street. Um, a couple of big features that you see right behind us right now is the Concord Monitor Building. Uh, that's off of Sewell's Falls Road. So it's a major, uh, major river crossing. We, we only have a few river crossings in, in Concord. This is one of those critical components here, generally uh, quite used so folks will be very happy to, to see us reopen this bridge okay thanks and Ed, how old was the bridge that uh, this new bridge is replacing good question yeah this uh, the original truss structure was built in 1915 so it was here for a hundred years uh, we're hoping that we can repeat that with this new bridge for another hundred years all right and um, my recollection is is that the old bridge was essentially uh, one lane with um, type bridge and at its end of its life it was uh, kind of shaky as you drove across is that right it did have some structural deficiencies and it was one lane generally about 18 feet curb to curb so our new bridge will be a standard bridge with uh, with, with adequate lane width with shoulders uh, this bridge will even include a sidewalk with a couple of overlooks that allow you to look down the Merrimack River it's a beautiful spot here we want more people to be able to enjoy this Great. And so uh, we are um, at a major milestone here today uh, as we're taping this. Uh, what's going on uh, behind us on the bridge? Very exciting day today. We're pouring the concrete deck. This is a, uh, a major element of the, the bridge structure itself. Obviously with a concrete deck uh, means that we're getting one step closer to having vehicles in, in passage over the bridge. So uh, we're about 12 months into the project here, September to September and uh, it, we're in a really good position. I'm glad to see where we are. Our goal is to open early part of November. We're on schedule for that, so things are, things are going well. Very exciting day. And um, there's quite a bit of uh, intricacy in this uh, continuous pour of the concrete deck that's going on. Can you talk just a little bit about that? Well, anytime when we say a continuous pour, that means once we start pouring concrete, we want to complete the deck in its entirety. Uh, and given the, the structural relation that concrete has and the weight and the loading onto the steel structure itself to make it a fully composite structure, and I don't want to get too detailed in, into the engineering side of things, but it's important to place in certain locations. And that's what we're doing right now. You can kind of see some areas complete, some areas not so complete, and, and the work is progressing on. So it's all planned, uh, it's all calculated, and uh, things are going very well today. Great. It's not quite rocket science, but it's bridge science, right? It's very exciting. So we've moved down right next to the Merrimack River and for those who haven't seen this spot it has some beautiful natural amenities. There's a fish and game boat launch here. There's a trail. Ed, can you talk a little bit about how the bridge project has made commitments to uh, maintain and enhance these amenities? Yeah, sure. So you're right. This is a great spot down here. The Sewell's Falls recreational area uh, is right here. We've maintained full access to that location. That was a really important commitment because there's a lot of folks that actually come down here. Uh, a lot of folks have been parking in the parking lot and actually watching bridge construction, but uh, this is a r great river resource. Uh, it's very important to maintain some of our efforts here along uh, with armoring our abutment walls and some of the retaining walls that you see behind us. That's all all structural, but there, it's also has a recreational component that was very important for us to maintain out here. And there's also a, uh, an historic uh, component to um, the new bridge. Can you talk about these, uh, the retaining wall and the stones that we see behind us? Yeah, these, these extra stones that you see that we're, we've, re, we've essentially rebuilt um, fr were really from the old abutment walls and the center pier. One of our commitments as we were permitting the, process, the project was how much can we reuse this existing material. These are old granite blocks from the early 1900s, uh, all local stones. Uh, so we're incorporating that into these retaining walls. And the, the wall that you see behind me here really supports the recreational trail that connects kind of the south 
trail system to the northern trail system on both either side of the bridge crossing right here. So uh, a, a really an important piece, um, not only structurally but aesthetically. They, they, they balance the, the environment very well uh, and they're going to they're allow the recreational use of this property quite well. And so once uh, the bridge is complete this um, kind of fall, uh, November time frame, Next spring, this would, might be a nice place for some folks to come and uh, explore if they haven't uh, been here. Absolutely, the trail network on either side is, is a really great resource here in Northeast Concord. Uh, the new sidewalk that crosses the, the bridge, uh, there'll be two overlooks, so you can really stop and, and look, in this, look at this resource area. Uh, and it's gonna be a continuous path from north to south, as I said, so uh, folks, come on down and really enjoy it. We've moved over to the north side of the bridge now near the Concord Monitor and with us is Steve Delia, the um, resident engineer of the project with McFarland Johnson. Steve, you've been out here since about 6 o'clock this morning uh, supervising this bridge pour. Can you tell us uh, why are they spraying water on the bridge? Sure, uh, they spray water on the bridge to uh, basically help the uh, moisture stay in the concrete and uh, it, that way it cures much better, it takes a little bit longer to cure, and, and that, uh, that makes it stronger in the long run. Okay, and from your perspective, how'd the pour go today? I think it went fantastic. Uh, we had uh, about 330 yards of concrete poured in over just over five hours, so uh, the crew out here did a great job. So, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. So Ed, one of the, or, or several of the major features of this new bridge are um, safety fe features. Can you talk to us about those? Yeah, up here on the, uh, the north side of the bridge, if you recall, the truss bridge was about 10 or maybe even 12 feet lower than where this bridge end is right now. So by raising this end, by flattening out the curvature on, as you approach the bridge from the north side, it really has, has improved the condition. Better sight distance, uh, better just traffic control, um, better, better feel for the road itself. So the Sewell's Falls, new Sewell's Falls bridge is better, better, better um, than the old one, it sounds like. And uh, last question, Ed, how are we doing in terms of the project schedule and the budget? Uh, overall, uh, as I mentioned before, the project is on schedule um, and we're within our targeted budget program right now, so I'd say the project is going very, very well. Great. Thanks a lot. For um, this Sewell's Falls Bridge Project update, uh, this has been Brett St. Clair and Ed Roberge. Uh, that's it for today.